For years now, ladies and gentlemen, gamers have been done absolutely dirty. After years of waiting, after countless amount of leaks, ladies and gentlemen, after gamers turn beta testers for free by these video game companies because they want gamers, toxic gamers, to turn out to be beta testers. Ladies and gentlemen, today we indeed have some good news. Buckle up, let's get into the story, drop a like, and if you're not satisfied by the end, you can always turn that into a dislike. It has been made by 12th Hour, and this guy claims that he has spent about 200 days in making that. It also got that Lucius Bunda. Do not, do not pause! Don't pause that video! Don't pause that video. Don't rewind it. Don't don't rewind it. I know he got that Lucius Bunda and whatnot, but ladies and gentlemen, Bruh. this is by far one of the best looking fan made trailer I have seen to date. I'm not even sure how Rockstar Games is gonna make a game or GTA 6 a trailer that's gonna satisfy. Let's be real, like it's been a decade, it's overdue. Our expectations are through the roof, and absolutely, man, absolutely. Not only that this man had like the Lucius Bunda, the characters are kind of looking like mid, let's let's be real. Bruh. But other than that, the trailer is definitely an A plus but guys on the other hand this is something that y'all got to know okay so clench your butt cheeks ladies and gentlemen shout out to the homie Aman place for adding me in this situation he says I'm not sure what this is but it's definitely a shame. Uh, Rockstar needed to needs to do something about these fake GTA 6 trailers. They're getting out of hands. I'm blocking out the QR code because I don't want anyone getting hacked and essentially this is that typical YouTube hack stream some poor YouTube channel ended up getting hacked some poor soul ended up getting hacked This is similar to that e those Elon Musk streams, right? We have seen countless amount of channels being hacked The biggest one is Linus Tech Team, and his channel ended up getting hacked as well And we saw these Elon Musk Tesla live streams obviously Elon Musk is not behind that I don't want to get sued because he's seriously not behind any of these streams whatsoever It's just that the hackers they get into YouTube accounts they change the name and in this case my guy they realize that Rockstar confirmed, take to confirm GTA 6. We're gonna get into some good news as well. If you see these live streams, guys, do not scan the QR code, man. You're not gonna be getting that Bruh. Lucius Burned out, okay? I know there will be kids out there that will be like, uh, uh, oh my god, oh my god, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. I'm oh my god, I wanna be. oh my god. Oh my god! Do not do it, ladies and gentlemen. It is not gonna show you the Lucia's bunda. It is not. I repeat, it is not gonna show you that. We got a ton more leaks, ladies and gentlemen. So the homie Tom Henderson, it's a fake leak when the person who took the picture forgot to shake the camera furiously to make it blurry. And you can see, like, this is the list. You got a wow, you got Starfield. My question is that. Will it actually be 60 FPS or will it be 30 FPS? I don't want 30 FPS, okay? Because if it's really 30 FPS, then damn, son. Xbox, a new... <laughs> Same goes for, for Spider-Man 2. If that is 30 FPS, y'all know, man. MBG, Sony Pony MBG. Destin is probably gonna be shaking. He's gonna be doing helicopters with his Willy. Seeing Spider-Man come at 30 FPS. Yeah, I don't know that's gonna happen, right? The Xbox would be shaking. <laughs> It is just crazy. Every time there's like a bad release for Xbox, the Sony ponies are always going in. And whenever there's like a bad or whenever we get Sony flopping, the Xbox are coming out of every which way, ladies and gentlemen. But honestly, these leak lists are going absolutely wild. Same for the PlayStation. And nobody knows whether these are real or not. Stop the cat. Let's be real. They are probably fake. And uh, shout, uh, shout out to the homie. Uh, shout out to the homie Solid Bullet for adding me in this situation as well. The alleged PlayStation entire showcase leak footage or oh, list, I should say. It got The Last of Us Faction, Twisted Metal. It also got Snake Eater. I'm assuming that's probably Metal Gear because we have been hearing leaks about Metal Gear for a minute now. Stel uh, Stellar Blade, Darkish Dungeon. But the situation here is that, like, this list is most probably fake just like this list right here but most of the games that are mentioned on it they are probably gonna happen at least half of them are gonna happen these are more like educated guesses i'm even seeing this right here guys oh shit oh, like suckers out here that making Whoa! this Beautiful. Suckers out here, man. Suckers out here making the, this hour. It is Bruh. absolutely wild. Now, obviously, we have seen similar situation happen. I believe at E3, it was for GTA 4. One in the comments, if you remember that. One, if you actually played GTA 4. I don't even know if you guys played GTA 4 or not. Y'all probably played GTA 5, and, and that was pretty much it. Y'all don't even know anything about GTA 4. I, I'm assuming that I, I'm probably wrong. wrong. And if I'm wrong, you guys will let me know for sure. Uh, especially 
like button, subscribe right now if you actually play GTA 4. But also, this is probably one of the biggest story we had this week. Everybody's covering the story. We even had IGN, all the big sources talking about it because Take Two officially hinted that GTA 6 will be officially releasing between April oh, oh, of 2024 and March of 2025. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I truly do hope that this game doesn't turn out to be cyberpunk, Bruh. okay? I don't want this game to turn out like cyberpunk because this game, y'all gotta understand this. We have waited years, decades for a game like that. And the fact that Take Two, and those of you that do not know, uh, let's actually cut the cap on this one. Those of you that do not know this game, man, I'm really, really glad that we're not gonna be 80 years old. They can always delay the game, like let's be real, but by the looks of it, it's not gonna get delayed. And those of you that do not know, take to done their investor stream. I will link you that in the pinned comments below. Definitely check it out. And during that stream, they actually did confirm that they got a massive game. They're gonna have like eight billions standards in our industry and enable us to achieve over eight billions in net booking. Oh no. So they are looking to make a ton of money they're looking to make eight billions in net bookings they say and this is definitely for gta 6 guys uh, and they confirmed that it's going to be coming out in the fiscal year 2025 which starts april 2024 and ends march 2025 and this goes very well with the leaks that we had for months and years now that this game is going to be coming out by the end of 2024 early 2025 i truly hope that it doesn't come out by the end of 2025 because that would truly be insane man i I can actually wait till early 2025 let's hope it's coming out in 2024 that would absolutely be beautiful but on the other hand there is a gta 6 map leak i want to show you in just a little bit stick around for that a south african man all right check this out guys learn watch and learn okay watch and learn this man ended up getting bumble cloud okay a south african man was arrested because he ate free kfc for a whole year now you're probably like skizzle so what's so wrong can a brother also get some kfc can 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 a brother get to have what's so wrong with that I, you are correct but check this out right for a whole year by telling the employees that he had been sent from the fast food chains headquarters to check the quality of the of the food ladies and gentlemen activision is back in the news they are absolutely back and you want to see what they did this time check this out activision has sent a legal notice to sm2 to be shut down this is something i covered in my last video ladies and gentlemen but man these suckers were looking to make a free-to-play call of duty okay it was supposed to be stress-free something i mean if you play call of duty you start looking like this and if you play for more than two hours then you start saying frally <laughs> This game was supposed to be a fan project. It was made by just the Discord homies, people like you and I, the, the, the ones that they would like to label as toxic and problematic, toxic gamers. This project was ended up getting Buka killed by Activision and apparently no one is really shocked because they were using Activision assets. They were using all the best mess that Activision had years and years ago, obviously not in uh, Modern Warfare 2 or anything like that. Some of the best weapons as well to create this project that was supposed to be Call of Duty Online but all in one on PC. It was not supposed to be on console and Activision saw that it wasn't gonna have skill based matching and they saw that it was gonna be free to play and they didn't like it quite frankly they just did not like and they ended up just nuking the project which is kind of lame which is kind of sad but I, at the end of the day it's like we saw this coming like that the sad part in this one here is that these suckers spent two years of their life and I said this in my last video I'll say it again guys if you're looking to make a fan project for these companies, for these greedy ass companies that do not care about you, stop. Seek some help. Look at Mental Hospital. I got respect for you, man. I get it. You want to make maps. I get it. You want to, you're passionate. You want to create maps for the community. But at the end of the day, man, you got to put your well being first, man. These companies will not give a damn about you. Like, do not feel for them because they will not feel for you. Said, 
Who said that? Let, let me know who said that. Bruh. If you know who said that, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It was actually Kratos. It was Kratos who said that in God of War, but it's actually true. It does apply in this case, guys. Do not feel for them because they are not going to feel for you. But on, on the other side, on a bright side, Jim Ryan says that Marvel Spider-Man 2 has no compromises. Thanks to being developed exclusively for PS5. Stop the cap. In before uh, they drop this game on uh, on the, the PlayStation 4, okay? Bruh. Honestly, they are saying that they're not gonna do it. This is gonna be a true next-gen game. This is gonna be our very first PS5 game that's gonna be next-gen. I know we ended up getting Ratchet and Clank. That was also like the real next-gen game, but that was Ratchet and Clank. I love Ratchet and Clank, don't get me wrong, but we all know it's like a cartoonish game. This is gonna be for the real man, I guess, you know, where they, they always like to say the, the, the real man. So this is probably gonna be for the real man that- Oh my god! That oh my be. god! Oh my god! I truly, I truly, I truly hope that this is actually good. I really hope that suckers don't get to see this game be at 30 FPS. And Jim Ryan says this, we asked Insomniac to focus on maximizing the functions of the PS5. As a result, they will be able to enjoy really beautiful mm -mm, visuals. Um, okay, listen, that is cool and all, but can a brother, can a brown man get to see those beautiful visuals? That's all I'm asking! Smash the like button, subscribe right now if you agree, guys. But apparently this also went down, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm not sure if you saw this, but this is by far one of the best news. Super massive games, developers behind Until Dawn. Oh shit! Yeah, guys, is developing a new horror game set in the Dead by Daylight universe. The game will be an interactive adventure with branching paths and filled with powerful life or death choices. It's gonna be like Until Dawn until dawn 2 but it's not gonna be until dawn 2 i kind of wish that it was until dawn 2 but regardless man we all know until dawn devs they are absolutely amazing man until dawn is one of my favorite game but i never actually played it Bruh. <laughs> i actually watched it on youtube and i absolutely loved it <laughs> <laughs> It, man i absolutely love it i wanna see until dawn 2 immediately okay and, and this time i will truly play i will truly stream because obviously i have if you guys are into horror content uh let me play for you okay i'll be back there's gta 6 news after this but real quick i got brand new channels linked on my main channel page this is scary x this is where we upload ufo and paranormal content this is also my brand new channel where i talk about the benefits of not just in the pom pom and why men deserve better check these channels out guys and uh, hit the bell on them if you're into horror content Content, you love the paranormal you are into ufo content definitely check that channel out guys but check this out apparently this started trending once again we have the entire map of gta 6 oh, check this oh, out right so this is something that i already have covered on the channel we did the entire walkthrough of the map of the entire areas and it looks like that the final map is actually gonna look like this it's probably gonna be still different but it is now apparently trending once again because gta 6 is uh, actually confirmed for 2024 2025 and this map is apparently only 50% bigger than GTA 6. Oh shit! And, oh, shit. and a lot of people are saying that bro this is gonna be way too small to carry that Lucia's Bunda that Lucia's Bunda needs a lot more than this some people are saying that Brad it's gonna be a little bit whack to driving around for 30 minutes to get to objectives so there are people complaining about it there are people loving this but also take two has done their live stream this is where they confirmed GTA 6 click on this video on the screen on the left though that video is on my scary paranormal channel if you're into horror content definitely check that out and I will see you right there